one of the ways to solve a pro a, an integral of a product is to use integration by parts. The formula for integration by parts is the integral of u dv equals uv minus v, the integral of v du. But before we use integration by parts, we should always check that the integrand could not be written in this form. Where part of the integrand is the derivative of the other function. It would not be wise in this situation to use integration by parts. An example where we would use integration by parts is the integral of x sine to the minus 1 of x dx. The x in this integrand is not a derivative of sine to the minus 1 of x, so we can apply integration by parts to solve this integral. We have two choices here. x could be u and sine to the minus 1 of x dx could be dv. But if we did that, then we would need to integrate sine to the minus 1 of x to get v. So it would be easier if we had made the x to be dv and the sine to the, the x dx to be dv and sine to the minus 1 of x to be u since we can differentiate sine to the minus 1 of x. I find it much easier to work with a sine function than sine to the minus 1 function. So quite often it's much easier to solve this problem if we make a substitution for sine to the minus 1 of x. So let t equal sine to the minus 1 of x. Therefore we can say that sine t equals x provided t lies between minus pi on 2 and pi on 2. Then this integrand becomes the integral of sine t sine to the minus 1 of x becomes t and our dx is cos t dt. Then this becomes t half sine 2t dt and it's much easier to integrate this product now. And this is now going to equal a half t sine 2t dt. So by letting u equal t and dv equals sine 2t dt, this now becomes a half. u is now going to be t, sine 2t is a half cos 2t, but it's negative. Subtract the integral of minus a half cos 2t, your v and your du becomes 1. And simplifying we get a half minus t on 2 cos 2t plus a half the integral of cos 2t dt. Now we can integrate cos 2t and we've completed the integral. Minus t on 4 cos 2t plus a quarter 
The integral of cos 2t is a half sine 2t plus the constant. We need to change our t's back to x's. So we have, from our substitution, that sine t equals x, so the opposite over the hypotenuse, then the adjacent side becomes the square root of 1 minus x squared. t can now be replaced by sine to the minus 1 of x. Cos 2t is cos squared t minus sine squared t, so that's going to be 1 minus x squared on 1, take away x squared plus 1 eighth, sine 2t is 2, sine t, which is x, and cos t, which is the square root of 1 minus x squared, plus the c. And this now gives me minus sine to the minus 1 of x into 1 minus x squared over 4, plus a quarter x square root of 1 minus x squared plus c which is equal to, it should be a 2 in there, 1 minus 2x squared on 4, oops, sorry, 2x squared minus 1 on 4, because of the negative sign, sine to the minus 1 of x, plus x square root of 1 minus x squared on 4 plus c. Many students do not make the substitution for sine to the minus 1 of x as being equal to t, and this causes tedious calculations when integrating the integral of x sine to the minus 1 of x dx. Because this becomes the integral, whoops, this becomes, this becomes the integral of um, x squared on 2 sine to the minus 1 of x subtract the integral of x squared on 2, and the derivative of sine to the minus 1 of x becomes 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. And this often leads to very tedious uh, calculations.